So this is a question that has been out there for a while. Um, depression, especially in late life, uh, has been associated with increased risk of uh, dementia. But there's a question out there on whether it is part of the prodrome or an early manifestation of dementia or if actually it is a risk factor for dementia. And more recently there are studies that have shown that even early um, life uh, depression is associated with increased risk. So data that we have at NYU shows that uh, depression scores uh, in, in elderly people, even if they are cognitively unimpaired, they're associated with Alzheimer's disease risk biomarker levels. So we're currently conducting actually clinical trials uh, led by Dr. Nuncio Pomara, where we're looking at the trajectories of Alzheimer's markers over time in response to antidepressant treatment. And this study is sort of like a next step of, or a parallel study that following the same kind of hypothesis and it's that we use, in this, in this case the approach is different, we use the large nationwide uh, VA database um, and we looked at, using the electronic health records, we looked, uh, the hypothesis was that we wanted to test whether antidepressant exposure in people diagnosed with depression was associated with a reduction in the risk. We actually do not see an association, which is the main finding. Uh, it's always a little bit disappointing when you don't see a significant uh, result, but um, this is the first study that has accounted for many covariates, as far as I can tell, uh, looking at the literature. We applied a very uh, like more complex computational approach where we actually adjusted for many covariates and we also applied a technique that is called inverse probability weight um, uh, Cox models, and we did not see an association, however, we detect a statistically significant effect in females when we stratify by sex. Um, and we are currently conducting studies in the, in more in that direction to try to validate whether that result is actually the case because there are studies suggesting that uh, especially microglial inflammation is different in females versus male and potentially there's a relationship with antidepressants there.